how you describe what it means to follow Jesus. There are lots of different ways to do that. Here's one. We call it the circle of the Christian life. Knowing God, loving God, and obeying God. Most of us have an idea of who God is because we've heard it somewhere, maybe in church, maybe we've picked up a Bible sometime and read it, maybe we just have an idea of who God is from creation. Certainly the Bible is one of our primary ways of understanding who God is, a foundational source for beginning to know God. Because when you pick up the scriptures and you begin to study them, you begin to see this amazing God of power, of beauty, of goodness, and when you begin to see this God, you cannot help but begin to love him. 1 John 4, 19 says, We love because he first loved us. God has given us this amazing inheritance of life. What we deserve because of our disobedience was, was death. But that cancer, that sickness that was inside of us, God took away. And he took that punishment on the cross so that we could have life. And the more you know about God and the more you understand of who he is and what he's done, the more we love him. When I married my wife several years ago, I loved her. But the more I know about her, the more I love her and want to serve her and give myself to her. The same is true of God. The more you know about him, the more you want to love him. The more you love him, the more you want to know about him. Loving God naturally leads to obeying God. Loving someone is more than just an emotion. Yes, there are emotional pieces involved, but it's more than that. Loving someone is about a fundamental decision. It, it involves actions and, and living out that love. If I just tell my children or my friends that I love them, but it doesn't, infect, it doesn't impact my, my actions, then that love, it, it's not really love. It's something else. It's an emotion that's masquerading as love, but it's not really love. You see, to love God is to obey him, and not just in outward ways, but in inward ways as well. Jesus says to love God is to do that with heart, soul, mind, and strength, with everything. To know God, to love God, to obey God, it's all interconnected. You see, this isn't just a line, it's a circle. All of these things are interconnected. When we obey or not obey, it also impacts what we believe. It may not do it overnight, but over time, it can impact what we think we know about the world. One well-known Christian professor, when students would come to him who'd previously said, hey, I, I believe in God, I, I try to follow Jesus. They would come and say, I'm having doubts. And the very first thing he would ask them wasn't anything about philosophy or theology or science. The first thing he said he would often ask is, when did you start sleeping with your girlfriend? Because what he had seen over many years was that the way we act and the things we choose to do also impact what we think we know. And so when we obey or we don't obey, it impacts all the other parts of our lives because we're not just isolated beings. We're tied together. What we do with our hands impacts our minds. What we believe in our minds impacts our hearts. It's all interconnected. The circle of the Christian life can be a great tool for you to help figure out how to grow in Jesus. And if you're struggling to grow, it can be a great kind of questionnaire to begin to ask, where did I jump outside this circle? What am I not including in my life of following Jesus? Am I not studying? Am I not obeying? Is there something in me that's, that's keeping me from loving him because I'm not studying? It's all interrelated and it can really help you to begin to assess your life in Christ. But also it's important for you to know that you don't work around this circle out of your own strength. The Holy Spirit is here at every single step teaching us about who God is, developing fires in our heart to love him, and also giving us the strength to obey. So where to start? You can start almost anywhere. I would recommend you pick up a Bible, begin to study it, begin to know who God is, and that will lead you to begin to loving him and obeying him. And as you obey him, obey his command to take his good news and his good love out into a world that needs to know about it for the sake of God and for the sake of the world too.